About 4% of all cancers diagnosed in the U.S. can be directly linked to alcohol consumption. Researchers at the Seitman Cancer Center at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine are studying how alcohol use increases breast, liver, colon, and head and neck cancer. The uh, more we drink, the higher the risk of cancer. The alcohol is damaging cells and the process of cell division. We get a close to 10% increase in risk of breast and colon cancer for each additional uh, drink per day. Dr. Graham Kolditz, a world leader in cancer prevention, is researching the effects of alcohol use in teenage girls and has found a link between alcohol consumption and benign breast disease, a precursor to breast cancer. Recent studies here at Seitman suggest that for women, drinking in late teen and uh, early adult years may in fact be the most dangerous time in terms of breast cancer risk. To better understand the link between lifestyle and cancer, Seitman has created the Women's Health Repository, a database where over 10,000 women have registered. As we look back over the lifestyle type data that we've collected, exercise, alcohol, we can compare women who do and don't get breast cancer and try to understand what we can do to reduce our risk of getting breast cancer. Existing scientific evidence clearly concludes that there is a direct link between alcohol use and cancer. Many women worried about breast cancer say there's nothing I can do. So just as those who quit smoking get a benefit, cutting back on alcohol translates to lower risk as well.